Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Auto Trend Channel. This is your Vip Rajesh, and this year is the brand new Maruti Suzuki Jimny. On most other YouTube channels, you may have seen the top level alpha variant of the Jimny. However, today in this video, we are going to take a look at the entry level Zeta variant of the Maruti Suzuki Jimny, which claims to offer quite a lot of standard features. But before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel as we provide detailed reviews of all variants of all cars along with regular news updates as well. It is your support that keeps us motivated. So please don't forget to like and share this video. Best of all, you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter as well. This video is sponsored by Boodmo.com, the spare parts expert. Any brand, any model, any spare part, they offer only genuine quality components along with the cheapest and more expensive options all at one place for you. You can check out their website at Boodmo.com or download the Boodmo app which is available for Android devices and iOS as well. You can search for the required spare part in the proper category from the scrolling menu on the home screen and you can also check out the available offers displayed on the home screen as well. Boodmo also offers return and refund assurance within 10 days of purchase. If you don't like the spare part, you can return it within 10 days without any hassle. Boodmo, the spare parts expert and quite literally the one-stop shop for all your automotive spare part needs. Today, this Jimny Zeta variant has been provided to us by Ambal Nexa Maruti Suzuki showroom in Coimbatore. Irrespective of the variant and color, the Jimny is actually a very cute and tough looking compact SUV. The pure boxy design is actually the charm of the Jimny. That said, when you compare with the top spec Alpha, this Zeta compromises on some features. That said, this Zeta still doesn't look too basic and actually looks quite good. First of all, on the front fascia, you get to see the chrome detailing on the front grille, which is available as standard on all the Jimnys. However, on the Zeta variant, you don't get to see LED headlamps. Instead, you get traditional halogen non-projector headlamps. Now, apart from that, while the front bumper reminds us of the Alpha, the Zeta does not have front headlamp washers and neither does it have front fog lamps. Next up, coming towards the side profile, this is the 5-door Jimny. But still, it is under 4 meters in length and has got a ground clearance of 210 mm. Now, the key difference between the Alpha and the Zeta with respect to the side profile are these wheels. On the Zeta, you get to see the traditional 15-inch steel wheels as against to the 15-inch alloy wheels seen on the Alpha. Then, apart from the wheels, if you choose for lighter body colors, you may notice the black colored door handles along with black colored ORVMs. Body colored door handles are available only on the Alpha. Next, it has to be mentioned that the Zeta does not have the dual tone roof color option. That said, on all variants, the roof antenna is uniquely mounted on the right hand side rear corner of the roof. Next, coming towards the rear, here you can see a lot of similarities between the Zeta and Alpha except for one very subtle difference, which is the black color door handle. Apart from that, almost everything remains exactly the same, including the rear windshield, wiper, washer and defogger. And the Zeta variant also offers a reverse parking camera mounted in the number plate housing. Just like the Alpha variant, the Zeta also does not have LED tail lamps. And while the full-size spare wheel is mounted on the tailgate, both the Zeta and Alpha get only 15-inch steel wheel as a spare wheel with the spare wheel protector mounted on top. So those are the exterior highlights of the Zeta anti-level variant of the Maruti Suzuki Jimny. Honestly, this Zeta variant has got a whole lot of potential in terms of customizing and aftermarket accessories. Now it is time to check out the interior features. Now the first thing regarding the entry level Zeta variant of the Maruti Suzuki Jimny is that the overall interior design theme and the color theme has been carried forward similar to the top level alpha variant except for a few feature differences. Yes this being the entry level Zeta you don't get some of the premium features seen on the alpha but still overall this interior looks pretty much complete. Now the good thing is that this being a tough four-wheel drive SUV you get simple fabric upholstery available as standard on both the variants that said the driver seat does not get height adjustment that is a thing to be noted and the height adjustment is also not available on the alpha variant as well that is another thing to be noted now let's take a seat and check out the interior 
so this is how the dashboard looks like it is quite simple easy to understand and nothing very complicated the good thing is that you get standard features such as tilt adjustable steering wheel you get steering mounted audio controls you get the same uh, tft mid over here but this is not a color display instead this is a monochrome display at the center the instrument cluster remains exactly the same as the higher spec alpha variant you also get the touchscreen system however this is not the 9 inch unit instead this is a 7 inch smart play pro touchscreen which is also available with the reverse parking camera yep reverse parking camera is available on the zeta variant as well so nothing to worry regarding that you also get all the smart play pro user interface stuff including voice assistant voice command functionalities so that's also a good thing that's it you don't get automatic climate control ac you, instead you get this manual ac console similar to the swift and other maruti suzuki cars good thing is that you get all four power windows with only the driver window getting one touch up and down function Along with that, you can also see standard safety features including ESP, traction control and hill hold assist along with hill descent control available on the Zeta variant itself. Then apart from that, you get to see the traditional headlamp and wiper stocks. No auto LED headlamps on this car and no headlamp washers as well. But still, this is good enough, I feel, because uh, after buying this car, you can simply customize this car according to your taste. So that is a good thing. Then coming on towards the right side of the steering wheel, you get to see a blank panel over here instead of the button start which was available on the alpha instead on this zeta you get to see the traditional maruti suzuki remote key that said both keys are exactly the uh, same unit with remote function so you don't get a dummy key over here uh, you also get electronically adjustable orvms on this zeta variant however it does not have electronic folding function but still you get electronic adjustment so that is a good thing then apart from that, you also get engine idle start stop smart hybrid function available as standard now on all Maruti Suzuki cars. So that is also a thing to be noted. Apart from that, the overall interior, the hard and tough materials, the plastic quality is also pretty good on this Jimny. It feels like a solid little car, little SUV. So all that feel remains exactly the same. However, the number of storage spaces is actually a bit less. You get this decent sized glove box. You also get a tray over here for storing small stuff. However, the front door pockets are not large enough. As you can see, you don't get bottle holders in the front doors. However, you still get speakers, which is actually okay. But regarding storage, it is a bit less. And the only bottle holders you get in the car are located over here at the end of the center console. You can store over here some rather thin one liter bottles. So that's about it for four passengers. Now, apart from that, the standard stuff includes this five speed manual transmission. You also get the uh, manual differential lock gear selector over here for two wheel drive high, four wheel drive high and four wheel drive low. This is a standard feature across all variants of the Jimny. And you get the rear power window switches over here, just between the front passengers. So that's about it. Let's now check out the rear seats, shall we? This is the first time we are actually seeing the five door version of the Jimny globally and India is the first country to receive the five door Jimny as abroad in every market the Jimny is available only as a three door version. So the rear seat space is expected to be slightly better than the three door version and regarding the rear seats yes there are only two rear seats with two adjustable headrests. So this rear seat is ideal only for two people according to Maruti Suzuki as it gets only two seat belts as well. Now the good thing is that these rear seats are 50-50 split folding in terms of function and you have a slight bit of recline adjust as well for additional comfort. Now talking about getting into the rear seat, yes this is a rather high SUV, it is a tall compact SUV. Commonly all people buying the Jimny will adopt for a footstep, they will opt for footsteps as a part of accessories. Now the driver seat is set for my height which is almost 6 feet in terms of reference and uh, after that i have got just about decent level of knee room over here that's it shorter people will be more comfortable over here because the uh, thigh support is absolutely lacking you don't get any sort of thigh support you can simply see uh, my thighs are almost say just <laughs> just hanging out from the seats over here it is not supported but still the headroom is fine the space is okay 
for two people and that's about it it is a decent space to be for two people now this is how the dashboard looks like from the rear seat this is the dashboard of the zeta variant which means you still get quite a lot of standard features including some good level of safety features for example you get six airbags available as standard across all variants of the Jimny along with ESP traction control, hill hold assist and hill descent control as well. Now this being the base variant you also get remote sensor locking, reverse parking camera and reverse parking sensors along with rear windshield wiper washer and defogger. So pretty much almost everything is covered except for leather wrap steering wheel, fog lamps and other such stuff. So that's fine. Now the unique thing regarding the rear doors of the Jimny is that you get these toggle type power window switches instead of the traditional switches. You get toggle type power windows neatly integrated into the door pads so that they maximize the space without consuming a lot of space. So that is quite good. That said, regarding storage, it is absolutely lacking because you get only two bottle holders over here for four passengers and that's about it. All right then, let's now get to the boot space. The Jimny ultimately is a compact SUV which means somewhere the space and the length has to be compromised and that is regarding boot space. So with four people on board the Jimny offers you 208 liters of luggage capacity which is not great. However the good thing is that this is actually a very square car with a tall roof which means you can load it up to the top. So that is a good thing. You don't get any sort of parcel tray or shelf over here. However, you have the standard feature of 50-50 split folding function for the rear seats in terms of additional flexibility. Now in terms of other features in the boot area, you have a small yellow boot lamp on the left side along with a 12 volt charging socket for your accessories or vacuum cleaning. So that is pretty much good. And under the boot floor, you get to see the toolkit including the jack and other tools, which is pretty handy. So as you can see, the Jimny's boot area is good enough for the luggage of four people for a weekend off-road trip. And that's about it. Let's now pop open the bonnet and check out the engine. Next up, under the bonnet of this Maruti Suzuki Jimny, hmm, actually the bonnet is decently heavy for such a little compact SUV. Now, apart from the bonnet, the highlight is this engine. This is the same engine we have seen under the bonnet of the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza and the Grand Vitara as well. While on those front wheel drive crossover SUVs, you had the engine mounted transversely, horizontally. But on the Jimny, since this is a four wheel drive vehicle, you have the engine mounted longitudinally. So that is a main highlight of the Jimny's engine. But still the power specifications, everything remains exactly the same. This is the same 1.5 litre 4 cylinder K series non turbocharged petrol engine producing 105 PS of maximum power and 134 newton meters of maximum torque through a 5 speed manual transmission. Apart from the manual though, both variants also get the option of a 4 speed torque converter automatic gearbox. However, that said, both variants also get the four-wheel drive system with the manual differential uh, transfer case available as standard for multiple four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive modes. So that is a good thing. Now regarding mileage, even though this is a four-wheel drive compact SUV, Maruti Suzuki claims around 17 km per litre on the highway, which is maximum. And that is pretty much good for such a boxy, tough four-wheel drive SUV. Now. It is now time to talk about the pricing and value of this Zeta variant of the Jimny. Well folks, that was all about the brand new Maruti Suzuki Jimny's base level Zeta variant. Actually, instead of referring to this as a base variant, it can be considered as a more affordable version of the latest four-wheel drive petrol SUV in India. Quite surprisingly, this Zeta variant itself provides a lot of standard features including some safety features such as 6 airbags, ESP hill hold traction control and hill descent control. Moreover, this Zeta also provides most of the basic essential features for an SUV, including the very tough and capable four-wheel drive system. Honestly, at this price point, instead of buying some front-wheel drive crossover, proper off-road enthusiasts can buy the Jimny and get it customized according to their personal tastes. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.